but he needs to get him out of this. Mitch, though, is a good hitter. He has one home run. This is grabbed by Blue Magic Koopa. We're going to extra innings again. Now we get focused for our first game of the night. It is the Yoshi Eggs uh, on the road at the Waluigi Spitballs. Uh, both these teams are on the up and up. One has won two in a row. The other has won three in a row. Waluigi Spitballs, after a little bit of adjusting, Tim's team has gone from zero and irrelevant to maybe undeniable. They have won three in a row, and they have found ways to win against some of the teams in the league, uh, some of the teams towards the bottom half of the league, and they continue to face those teams. And if you can gather that momentum, maybe when you turn back around and start to face towards the top of the table, you'll have that momentum to get the big wins you need to hop everybody and get into a playoff spot. And this would be one step that they could take. They can improve to four and four and have a four-game win streak if they beat the Yoshi Eggs. But hey, the Yoshi Eggs, they played exactly the type of game that they needed to win last night. And it was a game that was very similar to the one the Waluigi Spitballs played at the Garden. The Yoshi Eggs gritted one out with good pitching from Eli, an incredible performance from him, good defense, and some solid analytical baseball, bunting, things like that. They just got it done and did enough to get them across the line and beating the Luigi Knights 3-0 at home. So now they're here on the road at Wario City with a lot more to do and uh, some difficult hitters still to deal with. There really is no off day in this league. As much as you would think that you might get uh, a bit of a reprieve, anything can happen here and anybody can win on any given night. Uh, let's take a look at these lineups so we get these games going. It's going to be a long one. Let's start with the Yoshi Eggs, who have not made a ton of changes after, this, uh, after last night. Uh, seemed to work out for them, this certain hitting order, trying to balance things out. Uh, across the hitting order. Yoshi steps back onto the mound for the start, uh, I think for the first time in two games. While we do spitballs, meanwhile, again, not a lot of changes for them. The only change is that Tim, because of the uh, two-game uh, rule, Waluigi pitched the last two games to start, and so now it will be Tim to start on the mound. Every single matchup on the card tonight, folks, as I take that away, every single card, every single game on this card tonight matters all of the teams are very close in position to each other and so the jockeying that happened just a few minutes ago at the kentucky derby the 150th kentucky derby in louisville uh the jockeying will continue here as all of these teams are vying for position as we get nearer to the trade deadline and let's get it rolling here with the first one the yoshi eggs trying to go three in a row while we just spitballs four in a row somebody's got to lose here and Wario City. Nobody hit a home run, but like I said, they were able to still get 10 hits. It might be one of the lowest hit totals for a team to have won this season. Normally we see about 15 plus is the winning total. And Petey Piranha is at the wall, but the babies are there. And Baby Daisy's got it for the first one. Hot here with one out. Runners on first and second. Would like to see this one driven in the outfield. Waluigi may have the speed to get home and start the scoring for them here at home. But this is going to be, oh, it's past Red Paratroopa. And off of the arrow, close play at the plate. Safe at home. And that's exactly what happened, Tim, with an RBI single that just gets passed under the glove of Red Paratroopa. Not an error, has but been somewhat surprising. Has been not bad for this team. Puts this on the ground. Will it be the 4 6 3? It will be just in time at first base to end the inning. They get it's one. A, just a, not patient enough. Red Critter, though, found a home run. This team is. Not really a, a big home run hitting team, but you still have somebody in Red Critter that is capable of doing so. Deep to center field. Kiss that goodbye. They're not even going to try for it. And they take the lead with Red Critter on a two-run shot. Game and grounds out to start off this one. And that'll be a line out to end the inning, but it doesn't matter. They take the lead off of a two-run shot from Red Critter, his second of the year, and it's 2-1 in two for eight just gets one there now three for nine here for baby luigi batting 381 again uh, probably what we expected for a baby character lined out to brown critter and easy toss over to second base nothing more for them in the bottom of the second here He's throwing he likes strikes right now throwing gas the 0-2 is swung on, and it's over the head of Waluigi in the gap. Not going to get to it. And Red Pianta, both of them on 0-2 counts, are going to get aboard. And Red Critter 
will be back up, who just had the two-run shot to give the Yoshi Eggs the lead. It's not going to be a homer, but it will add to it. Will Baby Daisy try for home? It does surely look like it. Play at the plate is not going to happen. 3-1 to one as Baby Daisy turns for home towards nice the wall. Play. So one out here for Red Paratroopa. They are up right now. 3-1. to one. Tim getting a little bit tired, and Red Paratrooper always loves to crowd the plate. I like that pitch inside. I think you got to stay inside on him, but instead throws it outside. But Yoshi gets there in time. Blue Yoshi, a huge save there in left field for the Waluigi Spitballs to save that. And now it's two out here. Bottom of the third in a 3-1 game. The 0-1 on Red Shy Guy. He gets it back to this one, but it's going to be a... Oh, no, he's knocked over! And it's safe, an error thanks to the green shell, and the bases are loaded. Tight spot here for one of the best hitting me's in the game. Up the gap, that'll be an RBI single. Red Critter won't turn for home, and it's 4-1. to one. Eli coming through in the clutch again. And the Yoshi Eggs, early here in the first game of the night, have an opportunity to win three in a row. And that will be the night for Tim. It was a good beginning, but now you got to put Waluigi in there to try and get him out of a bases loaded jam here with two away. Baby Mario, this line drive. And there's a boo item. That's going to get Red Critter home. Red Shy Guy's going home. This is a double for Baby Mario. And it brings all three of the rest of them home. And it's 7 to 1. Baby Mario. And the air item. And Red Yoshi can do nothing but stare at it. She can find a single. Contact hit straight to Red Paratroopa. Not a great choice, and that will keep it 7-1. to one. Yoshi Eggs with the most runs they've scored all season in one game, and we're not even halfway through it. Six could open up the lead here. This ball swung on deep to left field for Yoshi. It is off the wall. Red Pianta is going to go for home, and it will be safe. Single, an RBI single for Yoshi. 8-1, to one, and that will be it for Waluigi. Petey Piranha will make a rare uh, appearance at the plate, or at the mound, rather. Petey Piranha has pitched in four games, but has not been able to get through very much of them, only pitching one and a third, and he will let up a single to load the bases. Only pitching one and a third innings officially and allowing six. That is not a good ERA if you do the math on that, folks. This is on the ground. It's a line out and a nice double play there. Red Koopa gets this team out of a bases loaded jam. They allow one. They still need a And right now, it is not going the way of the Waluigi Spitballs. They've had a great three-game streak, but that is where it will end. The three-game streak now belongs to the Yoshi Eggs. They win on the road in Wario City. 8-1 to one the final score, and both these teams are tied at 3-5 and five with the Yoshi Eggs now taking the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. What a so game for it them. It could go either way, but I expect this to be high scoring. I expect it to be a high scoring affair. I'm thinking something like 11-9, to nine, very similar to what the Daisy Flowers had in their loss to the Birdo Bows. I expect this to be both teams above seven runs, at least. You have to think, right? I mean, both these teams have the firepower. They've shown it. They have home run hitters. You got Funky Kong on one side, Boomerang Bro. You just know. You just know. Blue Dry Bones is the most consistent hitter in the league. Bats 800. How could we not see uh, a seven run plus game on both sides? But we've seen crazier things happen, folks. And that's what this league's about. It's crazy. And it's time for our second game of the evening here. The Daisy Flowers will be batting first. On the road against the Monsters, trying to go to 6-2. and two. Here we go, folks. Make sure to let them know. We've got a long night tonight. Follow everywhere we are at Super Sluggers on TikTok. Slow to get behind the big man, Bowser. That is something. And I'm wondering if Tristan decided to flip the order, not just to spite me and making the graphics, but maybe you wanted to leave more people on the base pass and some of these hitters that can get on base to leave Bowser to clean it up and get some more three and four home run home runs. And guess what? The bases are loaded here with nobody out here in the bottom of the first for Blue Magic Koopa. Who bats 481. Big spot here for Ethan early in the game. Again, Ethan with 15 and a third innings pitch has a good ERA, but it's going to go down now as that's a single. Tristan gets home and it's early, one to nothing. Here for the Bowser Monsters at home. They've had some bad games here. They've had some good games here. 
And so far, this is the right start they wanted. A 6.39 ERA for Ethan through 15 and a third. Last night's affair probably didn't help a lot with that, but still very decent considering how much this league can score. The you know, one on Boomerang Bro, it's a star swing, but it could be caught by the other Boomerang Bro, it will. And it's not going to be a sack fly as what a toss that is by Boomerang Bro out in left field. So one out here. Now Monty Mole, who is prone to grounding out, will take strike one. Monty Mole is not necessarily the greatest hitter in the world, and he could ground out unless the shell gets there. Nope, that's a 4-6-3, and that will prevent any more runs from coming in. Folks, in this league, when you have the bases loaded with nobody out, I think one run is really a tax when you consider what could have happened. one nothing here. Bowser Monsters lead it at home. Now for Funky Kong, one of the better home run hitters in the league, and this one could be gone. If it stays fair, it will be. Oh, no. I thought that was going to stay fair, and it went foul at the literal last moment. But now this one, King Bomb Bomb's out there. Is this one going to really get robbed? It will get robbed. Oh, my God, I apologize. I thought that first one was gone. That curved foul, then this one gets robbed, and Funky Kong can't find his seventh of the year. And Man. now here we are back to the top of the order for Tristan. This one is past Toadhead, and here we are, bases loaded, but hold on to power ball! He's going to get two of them! Now he's in a pickle! Oh, I thought he'd get two of them. I get tagged out. The power ball was not necessary, but they threw it out there anyway, and that's what caused the runner, Red Magic Koopa, to get out at second. That one's going to get down, though, and the bases are loaded if Blue Toad gets there in time. Man, a little bit crazy what's going on there. Now Blue Critter. Blue Critter has two home runs this year with the bases loaded and takes strike one. Ethan's got to keep it off the plate now. Ahead in the count. Off speed. Strike two is looked at. Now I'd go outside. The 0-2. Bases loaded. Star pitch swung on. And it's over the head of Toadette. Bowser's going to get home. And it's 2 to nothing. Man, I really, really would have liked something off the plate there. Not great selection, unfortunately, by Ethan. Let's Bowser trot his way home and stop his ass on the plate. And it's 2-0. Got to get out of the same situation again. Bases loaded. You really would like to get him out here and get out of it unscathed. This is a deep fly ball to left field. Is it gone? It is. Grand slam for Blue Magic Koopa. His first home run of the year is a cracker. Here is Funky Kong, though. Again, six home runs. I thought he had one earlier. Then he got it robbed at the wall. Now it's deep to center field. Straight on dead center. It's close. It's grabbed. In time by Tristan again. They're robbing again. And Funky Kong, for a second time tonight, is denied. Denied at the opportunity of getting this game closer than it was. Unfortunate for him. And now... Your best section of the batting order is off of the plate. You do have Blue Drybones, though, who knows how to hit homers as well. Blue Drybones has two this season out of the team's 13. And this is a well-contacted ball, but it's almost too well. No, it does get down, so two on with two out. Have an opportunity here. Who do you have up here? It is Red Paratroopa. He is okay. You just really can only expect a single out of him, batting 400. He's going to whiff away on the first one here, and maybe Bowser will just try to strike him out. Swung on, in the gap, and the bases are loaded. So hold on here, folks. Red Paratroopa, able to load the bases. All you needed was a single, and now you have Toadette. Now, Toadette might seem interesting, but she still bats 387. If she can be patient here and pick the right pitch, if Bowser even decides to give her one that's hittable. That's hittable. That's on the ground. It's past Bonnie Mole, and they're going to get on the board. Nice job by Toadette. What do we talk about, folks? This is a team game. I know we have the great hitters, even Bowser can have a three home run game and lose. So you need the rest of your order to find a way to get on base. And that's how you get somebody like Daisy, who's not batting amazing, but she knows how to hit a home run every once in a while. She has the opportunity to get this game closer here in the top of the fourth. Bases loaded for the Daisy Flowers. She could use a star swing here. And this is uncatchable for Monty Mole. And that's going to get one home. Red Paratroop in the air item, two home. Tornado is going for home with the buddy play at the plate, and she's in a pickle. She's tagged out, and that will end the inning. So two-run RBI by Daisy. A good time to use the star swing. Let's not forget that. Toadette got a little bit greedy trying to get one in, but it is still 6-3. to three. They find themselves on the board, and they cut the lead in half. 
and now just need to hunker down and prevent any more runs here in the bottom of the fourth. Blue Critter, deep drive, deep to right center. They have chemistry. It's grabbed by Wiggler. Nice job, Wiggler, to prevent any more home runs from somebody who I believe already has one or had a look at one tonight. They were down is... six. Could be one of the biggest comebacks of the season. They can find a way to turn around the top of the fifth. This is a nice contact ball. Over the head of Monty Mullen into the gap. Boofer's going to have a try for home. They're not going to get the buddy play in time. Wiggler's got to turn back around, though, or he's going to get tagged out, and this team's not been patient enough. He gets back to third, luckily, though, in time with that big worm-like body. Reaches out for third base. But a nice hit. A double for Boomerang, bro. We'll make this a 6-4 game. And, folks, this is going to be close. Like I said, I would be shocked if both these teams didn't get above 7. But right now, you have Funky Kong, who could make this a 7-6 game. And that is it for Bowser. Bowser knows better than to go one at bat too many. Magic Koopa will step in to try and get them out of this. Strike one is a nice curved pitch. Catches the right corner. Yo one. And it's over the plate. Deep to left center. Does it have the power? But Bowser's slow at the wall and off the wall. Wigger's going to go home. And it's a one-run game here. It was 6 nothing, and now it's 6-5. One-run game. Is that almost goes yard, but it gets off the high part of the wall. And Wiggler gets home. What a game we have here. Make sure to tell your friends, get over to Twitch right now, twitch.tv slash games. What a game we got going on here. 6 nothing was the lead for the Bowser Monsters, but now all of a sudden the Daisy Flowers, they know how to win, and they've tied the ball game with a single. And now fucking Kong for home to play the plate. Now he's in a pickle. Will they get him? No. They don't know how to play these pickles yet. These computers do. But they tied the game with Blue Dry Bones, a single. Gets Boomerang Bro home. What a play there. Blue Drybone's coming up clutch in a close game situation again. It's still the top of the fifth. They have not stopped. They only have one out. And Red Paratroopa will get it past Monty Mole. But there's Blue Drybone's misplays and does not anticipate that enough. Thought Monty Mole was going to catch it. He didn't. And just, he gets caught out. And now there's two away. Funky Kong's on third. Could take the lead if you can get him on on the ground it won't be the lead but after an impressive inning they tie the ball game they were down six and now we are all squares we head to the bottom of the fifth what a game we have here folks and it's only the second of our six game sextuple header That's in a one two but it's always hard to put this man out boomer uh, bowser rather with 12 homers this year this one does not look deep enough but maybe it is considering the part of the wall it's close no, it's off the wall. Off the wall, Bowser's going to have a triple. Off the wall. And so Bowser will get aboard with a chance to take the lead with Red Magic Koopa at the plate, who's very solid, batting 581. Very good chance they could take the lead here, but Daisy's such a good pitcher too. Time to use a star pitch maybe. The 0-1 is swung on and straight to Toadette. And the game is still tied. That is it. That is it for Blue Magic Koopa. Now the red one. I'm not surprised by that move. They have two good ones. You might as well use them. But not as long as you'd like. Blue Magic Koopa to go. Wiggler to go ahead. There's the fire. It's gone. Wiggler, his second home run of the year, puts the Daisy Flowers ahead 8-6. to six. Only his second homer. But now we're seeing the side of Wiggler we always thought we would see. A power hitter. Takes the lead. What a lead. Oh, my goodness. From Wiggler. What a hit. And now Boomerang Bro is going to get in on the action. But he'll fly that out. A two-run shot. And it's an eight-run swing over the game so far. But Great the bounce of the game. She has relieved herself. Well, but this could tie the game. If it gets going, they're at the wall. Caught by Blooper. Caden's in here saying, get wigged or die trying. That's right. Two out. A huge grab from that combination of players who have really performed incredibly well tonight. Blooper and Wiggler have been a key part of this victory where Funky Kong has had home runs robbed. Those two have found a way to get hits and get homers. 
And now Daisy here, the star pitch on the first one. Will Magic Koopa bite? He will. Guess what, folks? Unless this goes wrong, it won't. Likely it goes three run lead at least. Red Paratrooper will take strike one. But Bowser has found himself magically in the right place at the right time in big situations. This could be enough, though, for a sack fly. That's all you want a Red Paratrooper to do. That's a great job by Red Paratrooper. It's not going to be seen on the score sheet, but that is going to help this game out significantly. 9-6 to six is the score. Only our second game of the night, and Toadette will keep it going. We got a lot of baseball left to go. I'm going to have to grab a snack, folks. Our next game is the Diddy Monkeys, who are also trying to stop their own skid, but they don't get it any easier. A team that put up 23 runs last night, the Birdo Bows. That's going to get down the gap. Blue Dry Bones is going to turn and go for home. Play at the plate is safe in time. His foot was there, and it's 10-6. to six. They've scored 10 in a row. Unanswered. Safe at the plate. You saw his foot there. Get there just in time. Lakito says safe. And now Ethan at the plate. Off speed for Ethan. In for a strike. Boomerang bro just got to get him out of the inning. Line drive. Over the head of Blue Magic Koopa. Over his head. Toadette's going to get home. They don't even get to that. Daisy's going to turn around for home. And this is all of a sudden a completely different ball game than the one we saw at the beginning. Absolute mess. Taken there, and now Boomerang Bro is off of the bag. But maybe Oops. this is his time. This is already a huge difference. The second pitch is swung on, and this is a pop-up. As long as there's no fire, this will be the end of the inning. Yes, sir, it is. The end of the inning. But boy, oh boy, that was rough. Look at that scoreboard. Six runs scored, and now 13 unanswered for one of the best comeback teams in the league. Here. And they could have with two on. And he takes a drive. But this is on the ground. Could be the 5-4-3 to end the game. It will be the Daisy Flowers come back down 6-0 and score 13 unanswered runs to improve to 6-2. to two. Unfortunate for Tristan, who's in our chat. He could not find a way to hold them. And the Flowers continue to bloom. They move to 6-2, and two, and they're back to winning ways. Those are the two teams. Let's get it rolling in Yoshi Park in game three. It will be the Diddy Monkeys to hit first, and it will be King Boo to lead off. They need it. Otherwise, they're going to drop to four and four. Here we go. Third game of the night, folks. Make sure to follow us on TikTok at Super Sluggers. I will try to post those highlights, and King Boo will get us going here with a single that gets into the gap. Red Critter there in time before the train bowls him over, and King Boo will start off with a single. Pick attempt, no good. Here is Red Koopa. Red Koopa is not too bad, batting about 500. That is going to get down as well. King Boo is not picked off at second, and so 1-2. Get aboard here quickly with nobody out for Dave. But Dave, as I said, he has one home run, but otherwise is just batting 259 on the year. Could at least advance the runner here. You'd like to see him get... A single or better. The 1-0 here on Dave. He's jammed inside line. Drive, there's two. They turn triple plays all the time in this league. It's like their fourth of the year. Another triple play, and they get out of the inning once again. This bear, like I said before, this team has really put it together. And last night, these three had a combo of like 15 hits, but unfortunately, King K. Rule cannot continue it. From four home runs, he ends up lining that one into a double play. But and that's dead lines that one out. Runners on first and second. Diddy Kong would like to get this one to take the lead. You have a runner in scoring position, but two out here. Top of the second. Looks at ball one. I thought that got over the plate. But it's 1-0 here on Diddy. He takes a big swipe at this one, and it just pulls foul. Unfortunate for Diddy there. A good context. There is the... 4-3 with two out. That's a ground out. Unfortunate for Diddy Kong. The they can't home get run, rather. She hit her first home run last night. This one could be good, though. It's deep, but it's not far enough. That is the end of the second inning. The single. And Blue Red Magic Koopa is trying to keep this off the plate. But this is curving inside and one and one Dangerous here when King Boo wants to swing. Trying to keep this off. Off speed here. Nice contact. Left center field. The train's there. It's deep. It's gone. Home run for King Boo. It 
by King Boo, getting them on top of the scoring. Now Red Koopa deep to center field. Red Koopa at the wall. It's off the wall, and he's going to have a double. Air item in there, but I think that hit the wall to begin with. And now look at the Diddy Monkeys. They're starting to turn things here. One out in the top of the third. They have a one nothing lead on the road. Like I said, they desperately need to get this thing turned around. Grab though. And there's the double play. Green Chris is down 0-2. This could be a 1-2-3 if he uses another banana ball. The 0-2 is on the ground, and it will be 1-2-3. Ground out 4-3, and this He's is out this season. It's grabbed by Green Critter. Trying for first. Got him at first for the double play. 6-3. Close one at first, but Green Critter continues to be so consistent. Line drive. Green Critter's got it again, and that's a quick one there as well. Top of the fourth brings nothing more for the Diddy Monkeys. They are unable to extend their lead on the road. The Birdo Bows have the dangerous Critters and King K rule up at the plate here. Diddy's going to say, I'm out, brother. Like, King Boo, you got this, man. I got to get to the outfield so that I can rob these homers. And I think that's really smart because you got this deep part of the order you got to get your Kongs in there. Deep there, there's the train at the wall. I'm not going to get to it. The train is on time. And Green Critter ties the game with a solo shot. Shows here. King K. Rule did not have a great first at-bat. Will contact hit this one in for a single, though, as it gets down right on top of Yoshi's face. Dave, unhappy to see that. Now you got a Red Critter, who also has six home runs this season. We'll take a look at strike one. Nice pitch by King Boo to keep it off of a place he likes it. But he's set up for this one. This is deep to center field. It's at the wall. Watch out for the train. Not in time, though, as King K. Rool has to retreat. Dave says, Alec, please show mercy. Well, it is mercy right now. Right now, it's only a one, one game. It's a tie game with me at the plate. My betting has been okay, about 400. That gets on the ground. It will stay fair, and King K. Rule is able to get the second, so runners on first and second here for the Birdo Bows. Red Shy Guy on the ground. Slow one here. Does not get the double play. Had to make a tough play to Green Hammer, bro. He gets the play at first, but with two out and runners on second and third in a 1-1 game in the bottom of the fourth, Birdo is at the plate. Could she use a star swing? I think it's a good time for it. But it just depends on if she's going to do it. She will use it. Here's the egg. She's gotten runs in before like this. But it's grabbed by Yoshi. Grabbed by Yoshi. And that's the end of the inning. His expected time at the mound. IR Dallas says it's anybody's game. You're absolutely right, Dallas. Thanks so much for watching the stream. Deep to left field. The train is going to be there. That's getting off the wall. Diddy's going to have a double thanks to the train. And that will be there. Joe is in. King K. Rule is in there at the catcher spot. I see you, Joe. Welcome back, my friend. I'm glad you're here. Dixie here with one out, own one. You got a runner in scoring position with one out. You really would like to see her get a single here. It's not going to be that. The train has already passed. That is deep. Maybe Diddy tags up to third. He will try for it. No, he pulls back. Nice throw by Critter. He's got that arm, you know. Eli says, Alec, your team is so unpredictable. I know. I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. King Boo on the ground. Grab. That's going to be tagged out. Nice job by Gray Shy Guy tagging the base. Caden says, this stadium is the reason America is afraid of public rail transportation. Well, it's a warning track, Caden. What did you expect? It's a track. With a runner in scoring position. Star swing, but it could be caught. It's not caught. It gets over the wall. Fires there, and Red Magic Koopa is going to get home. 2 1 now. That's the go ahead single by Green Critter. And now you have King K. Rule up at the plate just over his head. It was a good hit, and now they take the lead. Green Bay Payton says, The moment when you're watching Bruins Maple Leafs game seven and this at the same time, I know I need to put it on my screen. I got it on the TV and the other room. Too much sports going on right now, folks. King K. Rule takes the first one. Bottom of the fifth, 2-1. Berto Bowes trying to hold on at home here. Big swing. Deep to left center. The pow ball could be there. The train could be there. It's over the head of Dixie. Gone. 
King K. Rule with his ninth of the season over the head of Dixie. And that's going to make a big difference in a low-scoring game. That was a bomb. Let's not get that wrong. And even she couldn't get to it over her head. And it's 4-1. to one. That is it for King Boo. An unfortunate situation for him. I was going to say that King Boo had a 6-1-4 ERA. Very solid, but that is unfortunate to give up. That is going to be on the ground too, so Red Critter will get aboard with two out. And look at the 2-3-4 again. It is such a pivotal part of this team's identity. And the Birdo Bows have the three-run lead, and even I am going to get a hit here to put two on. Two on here. Desperately needing to get out of the inning. You have Green Hammer Bro at the mound. I don't know if he's started very much. That is going to get in the gap again, and the bases are loaded. You need, need, need to get out of this inning if you're the Diddy Monkeys. Dave is probably on the edge of his seat, and Birdo's back up, but her star swing didn't work last time. It was caught by one of the Yoshis. She takes strike one on the off speed. She has one home run. She got it in the last game, and she's got a big hit here, but it's grabbed by Tiny Kong in right field. It will end things, but still, the two-run shot and the amalgamation of hits from the 2-3-4 crack it open. It's 4-1. to one. The Diddy Monkeys have six outs to go. Can they you get him out. Swing. Oh, no, doesn't swing, and that's a strike called on Green Hammer, bro. The off-speed is swung on, and right to Birdo. One, two, three, in the top of the six. Red Magic Koopa is lasting longer than we thought he would. He has the pace and has the distance here potentially here to have back his to the top of the order for the Birdo Bows. Two out here, though, quickly. And Red Yoshi will fly this one out to Dixie in center field. That is all the Birdo Bows can do. It was much different than what they did last night where they put up 23 runs. They've only put up four, but they've held. Very well, and that includes Red Magic Koopa. Will he come back here? He will stay in on the mound to start the seventh. I don't know if Dave likes that or hates it. Complete game opportunity here. I would have liked to see Birdo close it out and get the save. Instead, Green Critter will grab it for the first one. Two outs away from a win at home and an improvement to six and two. And Diddy and the Dave... Diddy Monkeys and Dave are two outs away from losing four in a row and going to four and four at 500. They need something. That is not something. That's a line out again to Green Critter, and they're down to their last out. Green Critter has pulled up a lot of hits. Red Magic Koopa has found a gem of a pitching effort tonight. Has lasted six and two thirds. He's one out away. Tiny Kong swings on this one. It gets over Birdo's head. That is a single. It does get Tiny Kong aboard with two out. That is something. And Red Magic Koopa will try to stay in. If you're Diddy, you got to unload the clip here, right? With a star swing. No, he looks at strike one. He needs to use a star swing to get aboard. That's period. This is deep to left field, but it is flown out. That's the ball game. Diddy flies out to left. And the Monkeys have lost four in a row. And meanwhile, the Birdo Bows, in a completely different style game than they played last night, get this one done and win at Yoshi Park 4-1. to one. They're 6-2. and two. GG's to you, Dave. I haven't even felt my iced tea yet. But, uh, hey, it's game number four. I know we lost a couple of you. And there is, uh, you know, Boston and Toronto going on right now. But the people that are still sticking around for baseball and probably Caden and maybe Mitch that want to see their teams win tonight, I appreciate you, and thank you for your patience. Now, let's get into the baseball talk. This is going to be another intriguing matchup. I told you that every single matchup tonight is pivotal for the teams, especially when it talk, we talk about that jockeying going on right now. Um, you have a team in the Luigi Knights came into this one being at 4-3. and three. This was the pre-what-happened-tonight standings. And the Bowser Jr. rookies down there at 3-4, and four, tied with three other teams. Um, it's going to look a little bit different than it does right now, or when that did, it looks different. But it is so pivotal uh, for both of these teams that they find a win tonight. Luigi Knights have really just had this. It's almost a bit weird to explain how their season has gone. It feels like they had you know big win against the Burrow Bows to start. Then they had a couple uh, uh, lost ones. They beat the Warrior Muscles again. It's like they beat good teams to begin the season. Then they get smoked by Bowser. They beat the DK Wilds. Then they lose to Waluigi. 
They smoke peach. We're talking about unpredictable. The Luigi Knights are unpredictable. And guess what? They lost in a shutout in our last uh, game, basically, last night. You can't really predict what team Luigi is going to put out on the field. And so that's why they're 4-3. and three. I think it's just, you know, law of averages in a way for them. But they have all the pieces. It is a dangerous squad. They have plenty of hitting power. They have plenty of good pitchers. Um, Dark Bones is getting the start again tonight for the second time. So, look, they were able to at least hold the Yoshi Eggs to three. But I just don't know. It's, it's really hard to tell what this is going to be like. Um, in the meantime, Bowser Jr. rookies were able to get a big victory in extra innings on a walk-off single by Bowser Jr. And now they have to go to the mansion tonight if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive and in the right direction. They could improve to 4-4. Four and four. And Like we said, we had a couple of those teams in the top tier drop a game tonight again. So it, it's definitely all for the taking. The parity is starting to... There's not as... or The, the parity's there, essentially, in this league now. We thought through the first four weeks... Uh, it's kind of a top tier and a bottom tier, but man, is it starting to even out and get a little bit muddled now? Let's take a look at these teams, starting with the Bowser Jr. rookies. It is still going to be about the same look. The only difference is Green Magic Koopa is getting the start because I believe it was Blue Magic Koopa two games in a row. It was, so Green Magic Koopa getting his second start of the season. Expected to be Blue Magic Koopa or Bowser Jr. to clean things out, but this is pretty much the same look for them as they had last night. Now for the Luigi Knights, Luigi, Dark Bones, Mitch, again, this is also the same look if you were here last night or you've been watching around. Same look, Dark Bones gets his second start in a row. Fire Hammer Bro in the five. All these sorts of things are pretty much the same uh, for them. It, it really is just like, it, it's one of those games, as I take that away, where it's like we just kind of have to see what happens. We have two teams that have shown that they can win ball games and they haven't changed anything it's just who's going to show up tonight that's pretty much all it is we're at the mansion one time luigi shut out a team here the other time he lost by 16 so i don't know if mitch is watching we'll see how this goes good luck to both teams good luck to caden and mitch here we go in our fourth game of the night i hope you're enjoying it we got highlights coming up on tiktok i'll try to put one of them out from earlier here in a moment lots of stuff going on tonight folks trying my best here we go. Game number four. Matter. Dark Bones Out. times it up. It looked at the first one. Knew where it was going to drop. Second time he hits that one. Daniel's in here. Also saying the same thing. I got to figure out uh, what, what we're talking about. We got one and one. Over the head of Bowser Jr. That's been a problem for Bowser Jr., folks. And now we've got Dark Bones. What the hell's going on here? Mitch has got a double and Dark Bones gets home. And it's one nothing early. A lot of crap happened over there. Let's take a replay. It went off the gravestone. And as Dark Bones was turning, there's the bananas. He hops, then a ghost. Just so much stuff out there. I told, Louis, uh, I told uh, Mitch that they need to mow the lawn out there. But maybe this was to their benefit this time. I had to mow my lawn today as well. It was getting real tall. It was about as tall as this lawn right now. Not going to lie. 1-0 here. Green Magic Koopa v. Green Magic Koopa battle here. And that one is past Bowser Jr. again. i, I got to be honest, folks. Like, uh, I am unsure if Bowser Jr. is meant to be at, sec at shortstop. I know Cade might not want to hear that, but there's been a lot of that shit happening in the season for him. Um, and that's such a pivotal position that I, I just wonder if you maybe go with somebody else. Nice double play, though. Lined it out 4-3. Gets him at first. We're still there, but it's one nothing after that double, which Trying got bunt. I like the bunt idea with two on and nobody out. He likes to do it. Now just a swing, and that will do just as well. Will do just as well. So now green paratroopa. Base is loaded. Bottom of the second one-run game for the Luigi Knights here at home. Bowser Jr. rookies are trying to stay in a good position. And the Luigi Knights trying to get space from this exact team. The double play, 4-6-3, is not going to be a triple play. It will get one home, though. Basically, a sack single in some sort of weird way. That will be the end of it for Green Magic Koopa. 
I think it's a good time to relieve him, but he didn't really last that long, and I don't know if we expected him to. Bowser Jr. comes in, though, and cleans it up. After two, it's two to nothing. Two nothing to the game, top of the third, one-two count here for Green Magic Koopa. And guess where that went? It went to Green Critter at second base. Can't be surprised by that. And it's three straight innings with no score. Fire Hammer Bro could have honestly been amongst the league leaders in home runs, but has had so many of them robbed this season that he only has one. This is a deep drive, though, to the wall. That's going to bring home Dark Bones. Make it 3 nothing. So a nice single. That is his just his third RBI of the year, which I find to be kind of insane. Luigi has the most RBIs on this team with eight, but everybody in here has at least one. A bit surprising, I, I got to admit. I thought that Firehammer Bro would have a lot more RBIs, but that's what I said. All robbed, pretty much. Blue Magic Koopa grabs that one with his magic. So they're able to add one more. They go one every inning. They got one in the first, one in the second, one in the third. If you do your math, that's one, two, three. And it's three nothing after three. Top of the fourth for the Bowser Jr. rookies. Aiden Daniel, uh, I know we lost a few people, arguably to a, a good good content in the Game 7 between uh, Boston and Toronto. But for those of you who stuck around, thank you so much for doing so. This is deep to left center field. Watch out. And, oh, does go around the graveyard. Hard to keep track of when you're running for a ball. But Mitch does that nicely. Four innings in a row with a zero. And if we better side of that trade, um, all things considered. Meanwhile, Wario, who took Red Noki in that trade, is playing in our next game. P-Dad will hopefully be back around. We hit about 9 o'clock. And that is a ground out. Blue Magic Koopa not able to get anything else. It does advance the runners nicely for the leading RBI hitter on this team, Luigi, to maybe get another one home here and extend the lead. Right down the middle, slow one, but Luigi did not want to bite yet 0-1. The 0-1 is swung on, and guess what? Oh, no, it's grabbed, and they are way the hell out of position. I don't think they expected Green Magic Koopa to get to that one. But that's this, folks. Bowser Jr., two on with one out. If you can get Caden going, he'll get it on the ground. On the ground, tags it. Double play. Green Critter does an amazing play again. Gets it on the ground. That is going to be the inning. Five in a row. Zeros for the Bowser Jr. rookies. They are in threat of getting shut out. This would be the Luigi Knights' potential second shutout of the year. That's two out, and so now Green Hammer Bro just needs to get on base or something. He needs to do more than what he's doing. This ball is deep to right field. This could get gone. It would stay fair. It will. Home run. A solo shot for Green Hammer Bro. And they cut the lead by one. They couldn't have anybody else on the base paths, but Green Hammer Bro finds his seventh home run of the year. That is a big one. It gets them a little bit closer. Now with two out, though, Blue Magic Koopa, again, you really wish you had a couple on base there. It would have made a, even closer or potentially a tie game. But they have struggled at the plate today, and there's Green Magic Koopa screwing that up, hopping over the ball. Don't know if it'll be an error, but it's certainly not a great play by him, and that will put one aboard. And Green Toad, folks, hold on. He's got a home run this year. He's got one. Will it be a second? No, this is a fly out. The center field, no air item. That will be it. So one, it's a solo shot from Green Hammer Bro. To go tonight, That's folks, don't go anywhere. We still have plenty to play. This gets down as well. Hold the phones here. Hold your horses. Two on, two out. Bowser Jr. rookies need to get out of this inning to have a shot here in the top of the seventh, the final inning. Green Paratroopa on the ground. Grabbed by Blue Magic Koopa. Can he get him at first? He does, and that will be the end of it. Luigi Knights have nothing more they can do right now. They just need to get three outs. And they Green Koopa gets aboard here, folks. Now you got Green Dry Bones, who's a very good hitter. We know he's capable. The Peach Monarchs love him. This is a good hit that's going to get into the gap. Green Koopa could turn for third. He could maybe even try for home. This is at least a double. He's going to have a double here with one out. Top of the seventh. The Bowser Jr. rookies have won games in the last inning, and they've lost them in the last inning this season. And once again, here we are. 
Runners on second and third. They're going to try for a squeeze bunt. It could work to get one there, the POW item. But hold on, they could get the runner at home. They could get a double play. No, he's safe. So it is a sack bunt. A sack bunt will get them within run run, but they're down to their last out. I, I don't know if I like it or not. I think it's probably fair in the situation to try and at least get one. Now all you need is a single, but Luigi's going to try and come in here and close the game out. A steal again for home. It's off the edge of the bat, and that almost worked for some weird reason. Trying again. Ball. He's stealing for home, and he gets sent back to third. Nice side. Ball one and one. He's going to try again. This time it doesn't work. Is he out of position? No. They're down to the last strike. One and two. Here we are again down to the last strike for the Bowser Jr. rookies. And it's over the head. Tie game. Goes past Green Magic Koopa. We're tied at three. And we're going to see a bottom of this inning. Oh, my goodness. We're going to see a bottom of the inning. As it goes past Green Magic Koopa. The bunt works. That will be the end of it. Luigi Knights need one in the bottom of the seventh. Otherwise, we're going to extras. It will be the third potential game that the Bowser Jr. rookies will might go to extra innings, but we still have a difficult part of the lineup. Luigi, Dark Bones, and Mitch. Caden says he's definitely getting a noise complaint for that. Hey, it's a good reason to do it, man. You got to root for him. That is on the ground. Oh, no, it's just grabbed off the ground. Luigi's out of there. That's a big one. Sean loves Luigi for his excellent strategy. He does have great strategy. And really, Bowser Jr. had some great strategy there for the sack bunt. It was a really well-executed sack bunt, and they only needed a single. Dark Bones is going to get aboard with a single here with one out. They just need one. Bowser Jr. getting tired. He's had a great pitching affair. But he needs to get him out of this. Mitch, though, is a good hitter. Mitch might have a home run this season. He does. He has one home run. This is grabbed by Blue Magic Koopa. We're going to extra innings again in the Triple SL. The Bowser Jr. rookies are a magnet for extra innings games. And here we are with seven people joining us at a perfect time. We're going to extras here at the mansion, starting with Green Hammer Bro, the six home run, now seven home run hitter for the Bowser Jr. Rookies. Top of the eighth in a 3-3 game. Here we go. This ball is deep, but it's going to go foul. Again, I, for, I keep forgetting to hit the clip button. I'm always so focused on the action, I forget to hit the button that allows me to clip. It makes it easier. Deep to right field. It is gone. Go ahead, Homer. For Green Hammer Row, his second of the game. His second of the game. I'll hit the clip button for that. They go ahead by one all the way into deep right field. And he does his little twirl and point to the crowd. Oh, man, what a homer. Here and make it three unless this causes an issue. It will. It's an error item. So Goomba will be aboard thanks to the error item. Goomba gets aboard and now you have Green Koopa. Green Koopa is not a good hitter, but he found his fifth hit of the season in this game. Or fourth, rather. Could it be a fifth? This is on the ground. Another POW item! And that's going to be another error on Green Magic Koopa. And somehow this inning is still going. It's the top of the eighth. Extra innings here. This is going to get down. Single here. Will Goomba try for home? He will. Play at the plate. He's out! He's out at the plate! Out at the plate. That's the end of the inning. Goomba gave it his all, tried and turned from third to go home, and he's tagged out at the plate. That will end it. That will end the top of the eighth. We're in extra innings. Luigi needs one to tie or two to win. Fire Hammer Bro needs a big one. Takes ball one. Nice eye. Has plenty of time. Up ahead in the count. Got to look for your pitch. Swung on that one. Decides to. That was curling outside, but he still gets contact on it. It will be a single. I really thought he was going to lay off on that one, but decided to swing. Now here's Green Shy Guy here. Bottom of the eighth, they need one. Swings on this one. On the ground. Could be a four. Six. Three to end the game. Game over. In the top of the seventh, the Bowser Jr. rookies find a way to tie it, and they get a solo shot again thanks to Green Hammer Bro, who had two in the game, seven on the season, and they steal this one at the mansion four to three. Uh, with good defense. 
This ball, though, is deep to right field. He's not going to get to this one if it stays fair. It is gone just over the wall. And Yellow Pianta starts the scoring. Two to nothing. Yellow Pianta's third home run of the year for this team. The only player that doesn't have a home run on this Mario. Or excuse me, that's a, that's a, sorry, Yellow Pianta for this team's a fifth of the year. Fifth of the year. Averaging 547. Oh, one here. Mario with a deep drive. That is deep to center field. New look outfield, but it's grabbed by Yellow Pianta in center for the second out. That was right off the bat. Hot off the bat, to say the least. But it was robbed by Yellow Pianta at the wall to keep it a two-run game. Grabbed at the wall. Nice job. Runner in scoring position for the Red Me. 2 nothing. Nobody out here. Contact hit, and it's going to get in the gap. Runners on the corners. Nobody out here, and Mario Fireballs have a real opportunity to get something done here with Red Toad at the plate. Like I said, everybody on this team except Andrew has a home run. Anybody can do it. This is a deep drive. It's going to get in the gap. It's getting down. Yellow Toad is going to get home, probably. Oh, man, did they give it a try. That is for sure. The Piantas with the two lasers try to get him out at home, but that will be a run. Yellow Toad just in time, as you can see there. Real close. Two to one. Yellow Magic Koopa, though, getting tired. That's a little bit concerning. He's only pitched 15 innings. He averages probably about two or three innings pitched, so I guess this is close to normal, but you really would like to see him go a little bit further. Meanwhile, Wario tends to carry when it comes to the innings pitch this will be a oh it's off the plate oh gets there in time so it was a bad chemistry throw able to get back to the bag in time was blue noki but that could have been a disaster could have been bases loaded nobody out but they at least have one out with runners on second and third for red pianta again mario fireballs have a shot here that's getting in the gap tie game red toad is going to go for home but the laser throw maybe he gets back close one no he's safe i thought red noki would tag him out Red really Noki. one and a third, so not going to really help his ERA. But now Waro has to step in a little bit earlier than expected. Fly out to right, but it's not going to be enough for a sack fly. It stays two to two here. But you have Blue Pianta, three home runs on the year, batting 517 with a chance to put this one in the hands of the fireballs early. The splitter here, though, the first time we see that today, a strike on Blue Pianta. Warrior likes to use them a lot. Ooh, didn't get that one. That was close, but it's 1-1. One one. Now going to use a splitter again. Lupianta is sitting on the inside ball. It's going to get to right field, but it's not getting down in the glove of Parker. And we are tied after two innings of play. It's 2-2. Two to two. Back up towards the top of the order, the 9-1-2. Jakupa did not have an amazing stint on the mound, but maybe he can make up for it with a big hit. Deep to left field. There is the geyser, and it is gone. Home run. Andrew couldn't get to it in center field. I think that was the red me that got blasted by the geyser, and that was a blast off for Yellow Magic Koopa. Three to two, they take the lead. Yellow Magic Koopa's first home run of the year couldn't have come at a better time. Now Firebro over the head of Blue Toad, and he's on. Could get to second. No, he stays at first. Koopa to Magic, Parker says. What an ideal time for that. That is for sure. Yellow Magic Koopa making up for an okay pitching stint. But now Red Noki will ground into a 6-4-3. She has been okay, to say the least. Uh, she's probably about... 4 for 12, or maybe 4 for 11, but not amazing uh, for the Warrior Muscles. It's something, though. She's playing her position, okay? Line drive. That will end it, but that's all they need. It was one. They take the lead. Thanks to that yellow Magic Koopa home run. I don't know if I would have picked him or that one deep there. A slow roller to the wall, and now runners on the corners with Yellow Toad. Yellow Toad in here for Mario. Yellow Toad is a great hitter. 16 hits on the year coming into the game. One of the better. 571. This is a big spot. 0-1. The splitter now is swung on. And it will get down. But Mario does not go. Mario does not go. 
Played a little conservative there. Wasn't sure if that was going to get down. That is it for Wario. Wario had a little stint there. Going to go to Toadsworth. Toadsworth does not last very long. He only averages about an inning pitch, and he has allowed seven in four and two-thirds. That's good for a 10-4 ERA. It's not good. That's grabbed, though, by Firehammer Bro, and a double play will get him out of the inning. Toadsworth finds a way, thanks to the assist from his teammate. And he's worked it out. Two hits for him. Not bad at all. Yellow Toad now. He's going to get aboard. And that's getting in the gap. That's going to be an extra base for Toadsworth. And they got runners on the corners with nobody out. And now Mario's got to be concerned. They need to try and stay in it. This is not the direction you want to go in. Andrew has stayed in there. He started the game and has been doing not bad, but that's going to be another one. Toadsworth's getting home 4-2. Four 4-2. Two. Four to two. It's been not a bad stint from Andrew, and he has a 5-6-9 ERA coming into the game, but this might be it for him. I think you may have to get him out of there. He's going to stay in, and what have I said tonight, folks? Some people have stayed in for one at-bat too late. It loads the bases as Wario gets what is likely his like 24th or 25th hit of the year. He's still leading the league. Mario's going in. Andrew will finish having allowed uh, four runs in five innings. About where his ERA is. This is a bases loaded jam with nobody out. It is in the gap. 5-2. 5-2, nobody out. This could spell disaster for the Mario Fireballs. They are at threat of dropping to 5-3. They lost the Birdo Bows in a blowout last night, and will they not have the gas here to recover from it? This is certainly concerning. Yellow Magic Koopa hit the home run. There's a boo item. It gets down. Pianta's going home. Wario's looking for home. Parker's caught in between the bases. Throw to second. He's safe. Two get in. Thanks to Yellow Magic Koopa who had a home run himself earlier. Bit of a strange base running there from Wario. Can't lie. From everybody. But hey, they get it home and it's 6-2. to two. Seven to 7-2 rather. That's right. They added an extra one there. At the beginning of the inning, Firehammer Bro to close this game out. It is gone. Three run shot. His sixth of the year. And this could be out of reach again for the Mario Fireballs. Put it over the plate, and he was ready for it. We're Tend to two. find a way to put on a big performance to get him out of this game potentially. Let's see if he stays in. Blue Pianta does hit it over Fire Hammer Bro's head, but it's one out. They've been able to pull a lot of double plays. Will this be the end of it? I don't know. Mario had a big drive earlier. He really needs to find something here. Contact it. Over the head of Yellow Magic Koopa to a board. Big one there for the Mario. Big one for the captain. Now you have Yellow Pianta. Good power hitter. You have to go power here. I know his pitches are slow. This is a big drive. Will it get down? No, it's down, it's down, but Mario's out at second. It gets down, but Mario's out at second. Thought about, didn't know if that was going to get down. It did, but he still got caught out, and they're down to their last out. Yellow Toad takes strike one. The Mario Fireballs are in threat of losing two in a row and going to five and three in the middle of the order. That gets down, Blue Pianta gets home. The inning will continue. That's a double for Yellow Toad. And now Pianta's going home, but he gets caught. He gets caught at third. He's caught at third. Caught him between the bases, and that's the ball game. Not like it was going to be crazy anywhere or anyway, but man, oh man, do they get it there. The Wario Muscles with an amazing stretch, some home runs, some great hitting, and it's 11-3, your final score here in our fifth game of the night. The Wario Muscles are 7-1, and one, and the Mario Fireballs, they're just 5-3. Uh, so it's going to look a little different. I'm excited for this, and I hope you are too. Final game of the night here in Week 8 of the Triple SL. Stick around before we go. Don't go away. You can get the live standings. And we're going to talk about next week's games. Estimated game is going to be Thursday. We're going to do another split week probably for week number 9. And we will get towards the trade deadline. Likely falling uh, week 11 is going to fall the trade deadline right around May 16th, folks. May 16th. But next next week, May 9th, 6.30, probably expect a game day. Three games on docket for you then.
when it comes this to is other Piantas in the league. I know he's 11 for now 23. But what we w- were looking for from him was homers, and he only has one. I really think that he needed to be a bigger piece, and they expected him to be a bigger piece of this team. The barrel pitch here on the 0-1 is on the ground. That will be an out. The 1-3 will end the inning. Unfortunate swing there. Paraguma not able to help out the cause. He's only batting 333. That's we on are. Blue Pianza, not on Paraguma, who had a nice throw. And so there's still nobody out. I'm very surprised by that. I thought he'd be okay. And now Yellow Magic Koopa will get this one down in the left field. Off the hands of Yoshi. That's going to be extra bases. That might be an error as well. And he's frozen. Watch out. It could be the second. It could be another. Inside the Parker, we had one at the jungle, I think two days ago, and that is an absolute mess. Couldn't grab it, gets frozen, and that's one nothing. Absolute mess of a situation there in left field by Pink Yoshi, and Yellow Magic Coop is going to get the third. Might call that a triple. Scores dis- discretion there, but gets one home. Boo here on the 0-1. Boo is 15 for 27, a very consistent hitter. Now finally redeeming themselves as Pink Yoshi. Getting that one luckily. But now Yoshi again could get another one home and get this to be 2-0 early. Most of the games here have been low scoring. Not above eight runs. On the ground, Blue Critter going to get the player at home. Gets him at first. Now third pickle at the plate. Safe at the plate. Gets the one at the plate after going back and forth. A lot of times the close play tends to favor the team on offense. So 2 nothing here with two out. And Donkey Kong has a deep drive. Not in this stadium will it be a home run. It will be an out. Barrel pitch. Strike two. And they go back to the well here trying to get him struck out. The 0-2 is swung on and going to be just foul. Just foul for him. Barrel pitch on the 0-2. Swung on. It's deep to center field. But baby DK is there. But he's frozen. And it gets down in time, luckily, for a single. That'll be a single. That was a crazy little section there as well. So Blue Critter is aboard. Now with Jeff up. Jeff hoping. They really need to find a win, man. He's 6 for 22. And this is going to help out. It's going to get down. Now the lights are off. They hit the star in the corner. Jeff is going to get the second. Blue Critter's getting home for sure. And it's going to be 2-1. to one. Jeff with a big triple hitting the star. That's a brand new feature of a stadium we've never seen before. It turned off the lights. And that really allowed Blue Critter to get around to home. And Jeff has a triple his first of the year. What a big hit by Jeff. That's a big, big clutch hit. And now you have Peach up who could potentially use a star hit. And get Jeff home, tie the game. Again, bottom of the second, 2-1. Nobody out, by the way. Nobody. <whistles> oh, and two. Not trying to not trying to play a hey batter batter, but grab by Yellow Magic Koopa for the first. Good boy. Good boy. You want a little baby chip? You want a little chip? Gary's gonna get a little piece of tortilla. Folks. Interesting spot here. Pete has an opportunity to take over the game here or have a shot to tie it over the head of Baby Peach, and it's a tie game, and they're still screwing around with it. This outfield is struggling a little bit right now for the DK Wilds. Baby Peach with an RBI just over the head. Daniel, thank you so much for your comment. Merci beaucoup. Very, very nice of you to say that. Turn, oh, try for the double play, two out. Thank you so much, by the way, Daniel, for sticking around all night long. Really appreciate you, and I'm glad you enjoy the content, man. So, yellow shy guy with a nice grab. That'll be 2-2, two, two, bottom of the second, two out. A lot, a lot of twos going on right now, but hey. This guy knows how to hit a couple bases. There is some ice there. Will Baby DK get out of it? He won't. It's over his head. Baby Peach is going to get in. They win. Are they going to get ahead here on the road to winning? Baby Peach gets home. They take the lead 3-2. to two. 
Yeah, I want some more chips. What a hit there. It was deep enough, and luckily, I know it's not home run territory, but those big icicles, those clutch ices, can help big time. And now, how about another one? That's getting in the gap. This outfield is struggling with the ice. And the regular dry bones takes home his teammate who just got the triple. And it's 4-2. to two. The Monarchs are finding scoring a lot more than we've seen them do. And now you have a, a threat. He still could be a threat. He's been dormant. And now Blue Pianta is going to add to it. Maybe it gets down. Two on with two out. But this gentleman can be a bit of a, an inning killer. Paragoomba. He tends to ground out a lot and has only had seven hits. And he will kill the inning. But it's still a four-run inning. Nicely done by the Peach Monarchs to take the lead four to two. This is going to... Six, four, three. We'll make it two outs here. DK Wilds needs something. That's going to help if that gets down because the boo item could really cause an issue. Baby DK at second. Baby DK at third. The boo item. Will he get home? He won't. That's a triple. This ballpark turns singles into doubles and doubles into triples. Now here's Yellow Yoshi. Again, massive spot here. You'd love to be able to get this to a one-run game with a single. It's in the gap. Yellow Yoshi will make it a one-run game. And he'll have a double to suit. This ballpark does this. What a hit. It's just out of the reach of Blue Critter. And hold their phones, hold the horses, hold everything you got, hold all tickets. Because we got a game here. Peter, we still have two out though. But it is a one run game. And like I said, in the context of knowing both these teams, Peter's going to get on. And the boo the air item is going to get Yellow Yoshi home. Tie game. Tie game at four. Looking to get their second win of the season and get back. At least in sniffing the conversation for the playoffs, deep to right field, Baby Peach is there. That will end the inning. In a lot of ballparks, that would have been a homer, but not this one. Well, it's folks, four to four. We know it's possible. It's been done before, but it just hasn't been done in the Triple SL. That's a nice single for Jeff. To oh, no, he got caught at first. What a throw by Yellow Yoshi. Look at that guy. He is on something right now, Yellow Yoshi, with a moon throw. That got Jeff, and now that's a quick three. What a way to end that. Yellow Yoshi, Brown Critter. As far as this team goes, I mean, this team can hit home runs. They have 10 on the year, but you're just not going to get it in this ballpark without a real bomb. This could be a real bomb. Boy, that's as deep of a ball as we've ever seen here, but it's still caught, still caught by Pink Yoshi. What a hustle. What a hustle by Pink Yoshi. Joe says, God bless Baseball Island. You're damn right, my friend. God bless the Triple SL. This is some sort of game we got going on here. 4-4, top of the fourth, two out. Teal Yoshi, sliding grab. Got him at, the, at first base for the 5-3. And uh, with a win. The 1-0 for Boo. They have swung on green dry bones. Watch out for the ice. Baby DK's been iced before, but he's going to get that one, two out. Gonna get that one. I said it feels like this is gonna be another one of those games. The pink, uh, the Peach Monarchs walked it off against the Bowser Monsters to win their first game here. And basically, what was kind of a sack fly that ended up being a single anyway. That's the third uh, out. And he man. might be a game saver because he gets Blue Critter aboard, who had a big hit earlier. Blue Critter's got the deep. The deep ball potential. This is going to be a ball that gets in a gap. This is surely going to get Blue Pianta home. They're going to take the lead. They can't get to this one. Start turning the bases because you know they're getting home. It's 6-4 to four as Paraguma gets home. An easy triple once it got in the gap. A huge hit by Blue Critter to bring two home. Triple. And the Peach Monarchs could be on their way to winning at home here. Look at that. Blue Critter, big triple. That triples happen in the stadium in the gap, and they weren't going to get to that one. Nobody out here in the bottom of the fifth. This is the same sort of similar inning that they had earlier to score four. It could happen exact same way. It's a line out. That'll be one. Now you bring back up Peach. Peach has, as I've said before, been a bit pitiful as there. But Blue Critter, oh, he's caught out of position. Not going to get him in time, though. 
but he's going to try and steal home on a bunt here to get it 7-4. to four. I like the idea. Peach is going to bunt here. Squeeze bunt. It doesn't matter. Gets home in time. Oh, man. Tagged out Peach. Almost got the play at home, but it does work out. Blue Critter gets home, and it's 7-4. to four. The bunts really executed well by some of these teams this year. Line out, though, to center. That will end the inning. They get three more to add on to it. They break the deadlock here in the bottom of the fifth. The Monarchs have a nice lead, oh, and it's one really on, does. one out. Really looking to drive this one deep to try and get Boo home and make it a two-run game or better. And that's a good way to do it. It's going to get in the gap. Boo's going to have a chance. Easily going to get home. We know what this ballpark does. Boo is getting home. And this is a two-run game with a triple for Donkey Kong. A double. Now you got to have Peach close. Brown Critter. This is getting into foul territory. And there's a lot of space over there. Grabbed by Pink Yoshi for the second. Very rare that we see a, a foul ball get caught out. But there's so much room in this, this stadium that it happens, and now Teal Yoshi, that's the third. That's the third. They allow one. It's a seven. Oh, one here. Dry Bones. Can he get his partner home? You betcha. Green Dry Bones is going to get home, and watch out for this one. Eight to five. This is going to be a triple two. It gets in the gap again. What a mess this can be if you don't get to the ball, and the DK Wilds have just not adjusted to this. In the gap. Baby DK cannot get to that. I don't think it's any fault of theirs by necessarily. It's not like that's that's the outfield you need to go with, but it's just a mess when you consider that they haven't played here before. It's the only time they have to play here, though. Luckily, they'll be at home next time in the second half of the season. Eight to five, make it nine to five. That's getting down, and oh my God, Baby DK, can you help me out? Can you help a brother out here? They're trying to stay in the game. You only have one more inning, and you let up another one out there. That is a double. Nine to five. Bottom of the six Peach Monarchs are on their way to getting their second win. It'll be their second home win as well. Paragoomba grabbed, and that'll be the double play that ends it. Guess who's the inning killer? It's Paragoomba. But hey, you need everybody to participate here and get them in the gap. That's a nice hit. That's definitely in the gap. That's easily a double. It could be a triple as well as Baby Peach gets knocked down. Just got to run to that one. That's exactly how you needed to start the game. Start this last inning with a double. Nice hit in the gap. Now Yellow Yoshi. Nobody out here. They need four. Lined out. Double play. They're down to the last out. That's not how you wanted it to go. Needed to be more conservative was Baby DK. Now they're down to Peter, the last hope. On the ground. Past Paragoomba. It stays alive for now. Need a lot more to go right. Yellow Magic Koopa has been not too bad. You're going to need some balls in the gap again. Got to be selective. Not too selective, though. You don't have a lot of time. One and one here on Yellow Magic Koopa. Peach Monarchs looking to go to two and six. Their second win in a row. No. Peach Monarchs looking for their second win of the season, rather. Not in a row. The DK Wilds were looking for their second in a row. But they're down right now. But, hey, you never know. You have two on. You need another one out in the outfield. And that's not going to be it. Ball game over. Boo lines out to short. And the Peach Monarchs win again at home. And they get to 2-6. and six. The DK Wilds, you thought after last week's performance that they might be on a winning ways. But I honestly will chalk this one up to not having the advantage of being at home. Home field advantage definitely worked out for the Peach Monarchs. It's 9-5. to five.